Welcome to Fishing Saskatchewan, the only online program dedicated to sport fishing in the province of Saskatchewan. Hosted at fishingsaskatchewan.ca, we truly are the ultimate resource for fishing in Saskatchewan. Fishing Saskatchewan, brought to you by CAA Travel and by The Fishing Hole. The number one premium aluminum boat in Canada. Superior strength, intelligent design, maximum performance. Our precision fit and superior finish is second to none for a dry and comfortable ride. From the first CNC plasma cut through hull formation and finishing, we work hard to keep our customers for life. Harbor Craft, the number one premium aluminum boat in Canada. Made only with true Canadian craftsmanship. Built right, built right here. Hey folks, today we travel to the southeast corner of the province to try our luck on Rafferty Reservoir jigging for fall walleye. The weather may be starting to get chilly, but the action on the water is just heating up. Rafferty, by all standards, is a fairly young reservoir, created in 1997 as a floodwater overflow for bordering U.S. states. It quickly developed into a fantastic prairie fishery boasting walleye, pike, and perch. Like Lake Diefenbaker and Last Mountain Lake, the walleye fishing at Rafferty seems to be a little overlooked, except by local fishermen. The first few years the fishery was open, it was, by many accounts, over-harvested to the point where a special walleye limit had to be put in place. The population has rebounded nicely, and it looks like the walleye are once again thriving. The shoreline offers lots of rock rubble, jutting points, and sharp drop-offs that provide excellent structure for walleye fishing. Today, the wind and overcast skies combine to make the water visibility very poor. The conditions were prime for non-stop walleye action. We're using a very simple technique today, jigging vertically with half to quarter ounce gumball jigs tipped with a variety of Berkby gulp baits or night crawlers, and sometimes both in combination. It was far too windy most of the day to anchor the boat, so our guide Merle back trolled the boat into the waves to hold us over productive spots. Boat control was difficult, but Merle is a seasoned pro and did an excellent job keeping us right on top of the fish. Because of the wind, we had to start out with heavier jigs so we could maintain bottom contact, but as the wind calmed in the evening, we switched to lighter tackle. All we had to do was find the bottom with our jigs and then pop it up about a foot every 5-10 to 10 seconds, letting the bait come to rest on the bottom before popping it up again. Many Rafferty fishermen troll bottom bouncers and bait rigs with great success as well. Stick around for more walleye action after the break.
We moved around a lot for most of the day looking for prime walleye spots and we were not disappointed. Virtually every location we hit was holding aggressive fish. The action was steady throughout the day although it did get better towards the evening. Between Smitty and I, we landed over 70 fish on our first day with the average fish in the 22 inch range. The few bigger ones were close to 24 and a very few of that were under 20. Looking for a great place to stay on Rafferty Reservoir? Harborview Bed and Breakfast at Main Prize Regional Park is right on the water with comfortable rooms and great home cooking. We'd like to thank Merle and Valerie for their hospitality during our stay. Join us next time as the Fishing Saskatchewan crew stay close to home as we wrap up the open water season at Blackstrap Reservoir. Until then, we'll see you on the water. Fishing Saskatchewan has been brought to you by CAA Travel Saskatchewan for all your travel requirements and by The Fishing Hole. Get hooked at The Fishing Hole. <laughs>